Hello everyone, so welcome to this new video and in this video we are going to learn how to generate the necessary uh, class name for our Dequitin work block. Right now we have only a, a hand coded class that means we have given this class to this uh, block and if we check out it front end and this back end I mean this editor we will see only this class name but there are some necessary class name that will be generated based on our uh, block name. So how can we get the classes? To add the classes or to generate the classes for our block, we have to use use block props. So to use these block props in our uh, block, you have to add this in the parent container. You can also add uh, to any other component uh, element, but it is better to use uh, inside the parent, I mean the parent or container of this whole block. You can see this is our uh, container for this whole block, I mean this is the parent. So we have to use this insert this here. So to use this, we have to use the parenthesis, sorry, curly braces, and it works like a, uh, a split operator. So we have to press a split operator and call the blocks, use block props. It is the function, so you have to use this parenthesis. And if you save and run this one and check out the editor, you will see now there are a number of classes has been added and some more other options like role uh, area levels for the accessibility and there is a dynamic id you can see this is our block id there are also some more information like data type data titles class name and inside this class name you can see this is an important class and this class is actually is being generated uh, based on our uh, block name. Right now our block name is first block sub. If I check out, you can see this is our sub. That's mean the prefix, and this is the name of our block first block. That means uh, wp block is the default prefix for all blocks for Gutenberg. And this is our only prefix and this is our block name so this class is important when we will style our block we will use this uh, uh, class so similarly if I refresh at the front end I will see it is not changed here so if you want to change for the front end also we have to use similar function as an split operator like this one is block props but there is an important note since it is a save function we have to mention save and then first brackets and if I do this I refresh recover and if I update yeah I will see now our Classes in order. You can see this is our class WP blocks sub first block. There is also another class that is called the block info. Actually, it is coming for due to the cache issue. No problem. If we remove this one and add a new one, like where is the block here? Hello world. In bulk. and if I refresh I'll see yeah there is no extra block here a uh, class name here and it is our uh, main class name that is uh, being generated from the Gutenberg by default based on our block name if you want to add some extra classes like uh, sometimes we may need to use uh, or add some extra classes how can we add the extra classes we can easily add extra classes uh, inside this uh, function we have to pass an object 
so as an object and inside this object we can call a property that is called class name and you can pass any value as a class name like block info custom class similar case we can pass an object here and type in the class name sorry and again if I refresh and update let me remove this one to have hit any cache uh, and add again like this first one and I want to hello world how are you or something and go back here and if I inspect I can see this uh, class is coming from a written by default and this is our custom class you will also find this custom class here if you check out you can see this block underscore info underscore custom class is our custom class it is coming from this object so i think you have understood how to generate these classes for your own block if you have any more questions you can let me know so that i will help you to fix or to understand that easily thank you